Hello, Duncanville ISD family. We are a little more than a month before we start school on August 12th. And I know that many of you are wanting to know more details about our reopening plan to start the school year. The COVID-19 pandemic has truly changed the way we have to operate. We have to be much more flexible so that we can handle this health crisis. One of my first steps was to put together a task force. That task force was designed to develop our reopening plan for the start of the school year. We looked at several districts across the state of Texas, studied those best practices. We also looked at the CDC guidelines, the local Dallas health guidelines, guidelines from the Texas Education Agency, and even national guidelines so that we could bring our best thinking to develop our reopening plan. After we developed the reopening plan, we wanted to get feedback from you, our community. And so we put out a series of surveys to make sure that we heard your voice as it relates to our reopening plan. It was clear that you wanted two ways to provide instruction for the beginning of the school year. The first way was an in-person, face-to-face, traditional instructional model. And so we will provide that and offer that for our students and for our families. That face-to-face -face will be much like a traditional model that we've experienced in the past, with the exception of providing social distancing measures uh, throughout all of our facilities. We have also have a plan to intensify our cleaning efforts to make sure that we sanitize and disinfect our facilities both before school as well as after school. You also asked for a virtual learning model. And so we'll be providing a virtual learning model where our students will be engaged with their teachers utilizing technology. So to prepare for the virtual learning model, we knew that we had to upgrade our technology for our students as well as for our teachers and our staff. And so our school board allowed us to purchase up to $2.8 million worth of additional technology including Chromebooks, iPads, laptops, swivels, and other devices that could help facilitate learning and teaching utilizing technology. In the upcoming days, we'll be providing more details of our reopening plan. You will find that information on all of our social media platforms, as well as our website, along with a list of frequently asked questions. COVID-19 has certainly presented challenges for all of us, but in the face of those challenges, I'm confident that my team will be prepared to provide a safe learning environment for our students and for our teachers, and I am so looking forward to seeing you in August for the start of the 2021 school year.